you got to be you got to be thrilled with what the Lions are doing right now. I'm happy for for the city of Detroit, and uh, I tell you, the guy who's really lighting it up up there is Matt Stafford. He's this is his team now. For uh, you know, he went through the Indomitian Sioux years when it was Sioux's team, and then I think it turned into uh, Calvin Johnson's team, and now it's his team. And I think he's running it the way it's supposed to be run. Do you feel like you kind of laid the groundwork for their success that's going on right now? Heck no. That's long gone. Heck, all the stuff we did, that's been, re- you know, the league, the league, unless you have a guy like Brady who stays for, you know, 15 to 18 to 20 years, like Peyton Manning did, and things change fast in that league. It's, you don't get to have much of a framework for anything. You might have, you know, a few players who stick, but pretty much, it's whoever's in, that's their base, and that's what they move on. What happens for the Browns? You know, what is your advice for a team you know, that goes winless? Well, well, first of all, let's make the distinction. I was gone. So I, that was hard. It was hard to watch, just like it's hard for any Browns fan to watch right now. Um, and, but there's because there's nothing you can do. It's just a, a feeling of, you got to be kidding me, not again. As a fan, you look at the team, and you see them lose, and you go, ah, they stink. They're terrible, and it's a blanket statement, and you throw it on the whole team. And the truth is, it's not. They don't, they're not. All, they're not all that bad. And so there's guys there who can play. It's just that there's some key times and some critical moments that you just they find a way to lose instead of finding a way to win. And it's really close. It's not. You know, it's not that far uh, to to find the winning ways. So I think the toughest thing is just stick with your fundamentals. It still ends up being a game of fundamentals and a game of simple blocking and tackling and make the plays that are presented. When you can do it, you do it. And the guys who don't do it, you know, they end up being the ones that guys like, that guy sucks. (laughs) That's the way it stays. So your advice for fans is obviously to to stick with it. Just keep, just keep supporting them. I mean, it's, it's hard. I get it. But Hey, the Cubs waited 108 years. So we got a shot. If you like what you just saw and you want to see more videos of your favorite athletes, crazy stories, and just all the best off-the-field stuff, uh, subscribe to the TMZ Sports YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right here, and check out more of our exclusive content right here.